Oh, where to start? The thing is, a lot has happened in a single week since I've been away. Well, I haven't really been away. I just been kind of staying away from the whole Vic Manana thing because it turns out I felt like that was the only thing I was talking about for like almost the entire month. But I thought the whole thing would die down, but apparently it didn't. Like a lot of things happen in like the one week I didn't really cover this story. At least I didn't really talk about it, right? So where do we leave off? Right before I left off, um, a couple of the Kick Big, Big supporters, especially the whole, uh, I think, Jesse Pridemore and I think Mars Girl, started a GoFundMe for being victims that they can't pay bills or whatever. But a beautiful thing happened was that uh, T.Y. Beard, if you don't know, is the lawyer of Vic Manana, and you, uh, he apparently responded to uh, Monica Real's husband, is, uh, I think it's Roy T Toy, Rod Toy, whatever his name is. I He... Doesn't really deserve for me to memorize his, his name, so it's whatever. But after a couple of long rants on Twitter back and forth, forth suddenly T.Y. Baird says, we will be in touch. And then suddenly everyone shut the fuck up. It was so awesome. If you went on Twitter and saw the entire battle, of people going back and forth saying, oh, Vic did it, or Vic didn't do it, blah, blah, blah. Suddenly T.Y. Baird shows up and says, we will be in touch. Everyone literally shut the fuck up for like a couple hours. At least that's from what I saw. And I thought it was glorious, right? So for what it turns out is that the week before, it seems that Monica Real and everyone else that was involved in the whole Kick Vic thing suddenly turned around and decided to not do anything not to further any charges or nothing like that didn't go to the police and suddenly some people went back on what they said and like hey um we're sorry that this happened but please vic don't press any charges and they had this weird fake video of people saying forgive and forget something like that if you remember what video i'm talking about let let me know in the link below because i saw that about a week ago so i don't remember exactly what they said but I do remember that they suddenly came out and asking Vic to not press charges, which is extremely weird for someone who's a, a victim, right? So you have hundreds of people, right, or dozens of people, whatever, that claim to be victims of Vic Manana as a sexual predator. And yet, for some reason, they go back on the word and says, hey, Vic, don't press any charges, whatever, we will let it slide or whatever. And then, <laughs> and here comes T.Y. Beard out of this whole thing. Like, telling people, hey, we're, we're going to be in touch. And now everyone is shut the fuck up. Everyone's freaked the fuck out. Of course, a lot of people on the Kick Vic side have really not really changed their mind. Especially when it comes to Monica Real. So it seems like the Monica Real side is that they're still trying to kick back. They're still trying to seem like the tough guy. Like, oh yeah, go ahead. Like, press charges because, you know, what's going to happen? That's the general consensus of what I'm getting. That's not exactly what their words are, but they seem so overconfident. But at the same time, once this, what's T.Y. Beard, like, posted that tweet, suddenly everyone just got silent. So everyone knows that Vic is serious about these, uh, about going forward with these charges, uh, that he's going forward with fighting back and, su and suing. So... Right before I stopped talking about the Kick Vic thing, I remember there was a, what's his name, Shane was on the, what's his name, was talking to the real lawyer about the whole Vic thing, about it can be in conspiracy, and for some reason this guy was like the dumbest person you can ever meet. Uh, Shane Holmberg, yeah, that's his name. He was like the dumbest fucking person you could ever meet. He comes out saying uh, that Nick was, Riquetta, or Nick Riquetta was this, a conspiracy guy and all his followers were listening to him and that he was the leader which if you guys have been paying attention to this whole kick vic thing and i stand with vic thing like yeah he clearly nick didn't, clearly didn't start that like it all started on twitter this entire thing started on twitter right when monica real came out and said oh vic uh, sexually assaulted us blah 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 he needs to change his ways and when people went to ask her about it, suddenly there was this whole backlash from her saying, don't harass me, blah, 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 I'm going to call Homeland Security. But all people were asking, like, okay, he sexually assaulted you, you said it in public, but what happened? So her, all her fans came to her for her defense, but she ended up attacking her own fans. And I don't think she realized that, right? Which is, like, strange to me. So... As for the whole Shane Bird, uh, Holmberg thing, he doesn't realize that this is considered a conspiracy, right? A conspiracy is from what he said 
uh, in legal terms as one or uh, two or more people like conspiring against a person. And you can clearly see online that there is a lot of conspiracy. There's people wanting to fake photos. Um, there's people that were talking about Nick for years about wanting to get him removed. There was an investigation done at Funimation on Vic already. So you already have like so much info and possibly evidence that maybe they really just wanted to get Vic, rid of Vic for whatever reason. Like they wanted to find a reason to get uh, rid of him because he supposedly just was that difficult to work with or whatever. Now, I honestly, I, like I said, I'm standing in the back. Like I honestly don't see it. I've been trying my best to stay neutral about the whole thing. Now listen to what the accusers are saying. Listen to what everyone else is saying on the Stan Vic side. But if you think about it logically, like it makes more sense sense to stand with Vic because there is so much conspiracy conspiring against Vic Banyana that it doesn't make sense to side with people that are crying wolf. And that's what the story is. This entire story is people crying wolf. Now let's think about this for a second, right? If you truly were sexually assaulted. Wouldn't you want to go to the police? As they said, one in three people like go forward when they've been sexually assaulted. So I kind of find it hard to believe that a dozen people or a hundred people, whatever, uh, did not go to the police whatsoever. That doesn't make any sense. When Harvey Weinstein and uh, Bill Cosby, they went to jail, you know why they went to jail? Because those people came forward. They went straight to the police. They didn't go on this uh, Twitter frenzy. You know why people are doing this Twitter frenzy? Because they have nothing on Vic. If they had something on Vic, they would have already went to the police. That's why you can call them on their bullshit, right? And you can already see that the tables are turning, that these people are basically shitting themselves. Like, once Vic's lawyer was saying, we're going to be in touch, everyone shut the fuck up. And people are already saying, Vic, please don't sue me. Please don't do this. You can see videos of uh, people saying that, like, whatever you do, don't um, consider legal recourses. But he's doing it anyways. If I were Vic, I'd do the same thing. Not just for defamination or whatever. It, it's just the fact that it's slander, right? People are slandering your name. And the conspiracy that people are trying to gang up on you just to get rid of you. That's what this feels like, right? And then the hypocrisy that Monica Real would come out and say, like, in her apologetic letter, like, oh, um, Nick was and is my friend, and I hope we can get he can get help. No, no, bitch. Sorry, I don't mean to say bitch, but no, th this is coming from the heart. Like, he is not was or is your friend. No. Like, if that happened to me, we are not friends, especially if I know you're slandering my name. So, I'm really glad that Vic Magnana is considering these legal recourses, that he's going after these people, and... From what I see, these people have nothing, nothing on Vic. They have nothing on Vic. And like I said, I try to remain neutral. I try to see it from both sides. But from my perspective, it makes more sense that Vic is probably going to be the one that's going to win because they literally have nothing on them, that this is an entire conspiracy that is all slander and defamination. So we're going to see. We're going to see how this turns out, but I'm fairly 99.9% .9 confident that Vic is going to sue the fuck out of like... 10 or 20 people and probably win but we'll see i'm not sure if he's gonna go after funimation or anything like that i'm not sure if he's gonna go after any of the comic cons i don't know what shane holmberg was talking about when he said oh is uh vic gonna sue the comic cons or whatever oh what, uh, what proof do you have blah 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 uh, like i said in my other video earlier is that in the United States of America, you could sue someone for anything. You could sue them for, you spilt coffee on yourself. You could sue them and possibly win. You could sue people for anything. So, uh, this Shane Holmberg guy, he had no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, you could sue people. You might not win, but you could still sue. But there's no indication whatsoever that Vic was going to sue any of these uh, Comic-Con conventions. He might sue Pensacon because of what happened with that whole thing. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm still going to stand with Vic. Like I said, I'm not going to back down on that. But I'm really glad that he's considering this legal option. And I'm going to see how this goes. Um, I would like to talk about this topic every single day. But, you know, I am a little busy. I have other videos to work on, other topics I like to talk about. But I have a feeling that this thing is going to drag on. It's going to drag on for the rest of the year. The entirety of 2018 is going to be about this kick Vic thing. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a couple of months maybe for Vic to finally take these people to court and for her to finally be finalized in court. There's going to be so much drama on this thing that it's... There's going to be so much to talk about that I might as well just like 
wait every week and then talk about it at the end of the week just to recap what happened at the end of the week. And this entire thing, it's like, it's an entire sitcom. A, a sitcom that, I, I don't know, like, I really hope that someone makes a documentary about all this, like, about the entire thing. And one reason why I really do stand with it, one reason why I do that, because I feel there's been a lot of people that have been wrongly accused of sexual assault, right? And I, we need the people that actually sexually assault people to actually go to prison, to actually go to jail. And we need the people that are actually innocent to fight back, to prove, like, you can't cry wolf every single time. Because we know that there are false allegations out there, and not everyone's innocent, but there are false allegations. And that's what this whole thing is about for me, that... You know, we need to get justice for the people that actually have been sexually assaulted. You can't walk up to somebody and then have someone put their hand on your shoulder and, like, you're okay with it. But then the next day you're like, oh, you know what? That actually made me uncomfortable. I'm actually assaulted. I feel uh, I feel violated. There's a video on the internet of Vic Manana at a Comic-Con talking to uh, – I forgot who he's talking to. He's talking to two – people at comic-con they both have mics one's a girl one's a guy when Vic goes and grabs the mic to talk and he puts his hand on her shoulder she obviously is a little uncomfortable but you can see a couple seconds later a Vic stops and continues talking gives her back the mic and then he turns to the guy puts his hand on his shoulder it takes the mic and they're good friends but she acts like oh I was so violated like he put his hand on your shoulder like and he saw obviously that you're not comfortable with it so he pulled away that is not assault people like that is not assault. Like, when is hugging, like, considered assault? Maybe you felt uncomfortable. But, you know, when you see someone that feels uncomfortable about it, it, it is okay to pull away. Okay, whatever. You don't like that? Fine. I've been in situations like that where I want to shake someone's hand, but they don't want to shake my hand, or I do give someone a hug. Like, oh, they don't they don't want to hug me. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. That is not assault. Because, you know, I'm trying to respect everyone's um, bubble space. We're all trying to do that. But you can't cry wolf for every single wrong thing that people do. Like, you can't, like, so, I don't see how hugging, and and that's what the Shane Holmberg guy said earlier, was, oh, he didn't uh, get kicked out for hugging people. He's not getting accused for hugging people. No, that is exactly what he's been accused of. If you go back, Shane Holmberg, and look at all the videos of uh, Vic Magnana at these Comic-Con conventions, he's usually hugging people. Yeah, he sometimes kisses people, but they kiss him back, or vice versa. So... These people, most of the time, they felt uncomfortable simply because he hugged them. But if you paid attention to what happens at Comic-Con, when people, when fans meet someone they really like, they generally want to hug him, shake his hand. You know, if I met a celebrity I really like, like, oh, I really want to shake his hand. I'm just nervous. Maybe he doesn't want to, or she doesn't want to, whatever, you know, something like that. So, bottom, bottom line in the story is that, these people have nothing on Vic, and he's probably going to win. And I cannot wait for the shitstorm that's going to unfold. It's probably going to take for the rest of the year, like I said. But the good thing is I could probably wait a week every single time and recap the rest of the week. So anyways, guys, I got to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.